With this short tutorial, I hope to show you how to create a caption file for use with the Adobe Flash Player using the free software Magpie 2.5 for Windows. Adding captions to videos makes them more accessible and is required on government websites. Magpie is developed by the National Center for Accessible Media and it can be downloaded on their website at ncam.wgbh.org under the Tools section. The current version is 2.5.1 for Windows machines only because Apple no longer provides the necessary support for the QuickTime Java interface Mac users should employ a virtual machine to run Windows and Magpie or use an older version of Magpie that can be downloaded here as well. A few steps must be taken in order before installing Magpie. First you should install the most recent Java update Then you should install the most recent version of QuickTime. Once you have completed these steps, you can download and install Magpie. Before you do anything with Magpie, the easiest way to create captions is to type out a transcript into a text file while you watch the video you wish to caption. For this demo, I have selected a personal video, Sore Loser, which can be seen in full on my YouTube channel. Type out the dialogue, keeping the lines short and segmented appropriately according to who is speaking. You will need to time these segments later, so keep that in mind. You also need to double space your segments so that they can import into Magpie correctly. If you lag behind the video, just pause it and rewind as many times as you need to get the transcript right. With the uh, captions, you should add an indicator at the beginning of each segment to show who is speaking. In this case, these characters don't have names, so I will call them Fro Guy and Beard Guy. In a uh, caption file, you should also add sound effects or descriptions of sound effects within parentheses or brackets to help the viewer understand what is happening in the video. So as Beard Guy lifts the board from the table, I'll add the description, board scraping the table. To get this done faster, I'm going to copy and paste the speaker tags. When you're done with your transcript, save it into your project folder as a text document. Give it a name that makes sense, like captions underscore and the name of the video. Now that we've created a transcript file, we're ready to open Magpie and create the captions. So open Magpie, and the first thing you want to do is create a new project. The first thing it asks of you is to identify the base media you wish to use, which is the video file you want to caption. Magpie sometimes has difficulty with certain video formats, so I converted Sore Loser into an MP4 video using the free video converter by Coyote Soft. Next, enter author info, then select the font type and size you wish to use. I'm selecting size 14 to be slightly bigger than the default. I'm leaving the background black with white text for high contrast. And it's also important to select or specify the dimensions of your video, which you can look up in the properties of your video beforehand. I like to make the captions the same width as the video for visual appeal and give the captions a height that won't cut off too much of the video when it plays. You can adjust these dimensions later if you need to. Magpie will load your video into the project and ask you if this is a caption file or an audio description file. Specify a caption file and the language of the captions. 
After your project loads, save it and give it an appropriate name. To load the transcript you created earlier, select the Captions menu and choose the option Import Captions from File. You can delete the uh, first empty row. The next step is to add time codes to the captions. Under the Captions menu, notice here that there are hotkeys for entering the start time and end times of each segment. Timing correctly takes a little bit of practice and your full attention. Press the green arrow for playback at normal speed and press the start time hotkey at the right moment for each segment. Magpie will automatically advance you to the next line as you go. Sometimes there is a pause between the two segments and you will want one line to disappear well before the next one comes on screen. To do that, you need to enter a stop time for the line. Entering stop times is not as intuitive as start times. For some reason, to enter a stop time for a line, you have to have the line after it selected. So to add a stop time for line 5, select line 6 and press the hotkey. When you are finished timing, go to the playback menu and select the option Export Changes on Playback. Now when you play the video in the project, the captions will display and you can preview your timing. When you are completely happy with your project, go to the Export menu and choose the Adobe Flash format. Magpie will export the file into your project folder and you now have a caption file you can embed online with a flash version of your video. For other caption file formats, check out the free program Subtitle Workshop. Thanks for watching.